Transformer oil testing may be a proven loss prevention technique that should be a neighborhood of any condition-based predictive maintenance program. Transformer oil also known as insulating oil is a particular type of oil with exceptional electrical shielding properties and is stable at high temperatures. Transformer oil is used in oil field electrical power transformers to cloister, prevent arcing and partial discharge, and scatter the transformer I.E. act as a coolant. The transformer's liquid not only serves as a heat transfer medium, it also is part of the transformer's insulation system. Therefore, it is sensible to occasionally perform tests on the oil to determine whether it is proficient in pleasing its role as an insulant. Some of the most common transformer oil tests are screen tests, water content, metals in oil, and polychlorinated biphenyl, and dissolved gas in oil analysis. Transformer oil testing methods are a vital part of any maintenance program. An annual DGA is the most crucial test for the liquid lining. Analysis of gases in the oil can specify insulation overheating overloading, corona discharge, liquid overheating, or arcing in the transformer. The screen test comprises additional physical, chemical, and electrical tests, this includes power factor, interfacial tension, acidity, color, and dielectric breakdown. breakdown. No single test alone can indicate the authentic stature of the liquid. Thus, it is necessary to perform all the tests. Furthermore, a useful test is performed by transformer oil labs that include those for water content, PCBs furanic compounds, and metals in oil. Oil testing of transformer is how blood testing to human beings. Transformer oil testing is a proven and best known loss prevention technique which should be part of any maintenance program of an organization. It not only acts as an early warning system but also help us to understand the inner health of the transformer without disrupting its operation. Transformer oil testing when done on a regular time interval allows maintenance department to identify priorities, plan work assignment, gives enough time to arrange outside vendor for transformer servicing or maybe order necessary parts and materials. Transformer oils are subjected to electrical and mechanical stresses while a transformer or other electrical distribution equipment stays in operation. The analysis of insulating oil provides information about the oil, but also enables the detection of other possible problems, including contact arcing, aging insulating paper and other latent faults and is an indispensable part of the cost-efficient electrical maintenance program. Properties of transformer oil or insulating oil Following parameters of insulating oil or transformer oil should be considered to analyze the serviceability of oil. Physical parameters color and appearance, density, interfacial tension, viscosity, flash point and pore point. Chemical parameters, water content, corrosive sulfur, acidity, sludge content. Electrical parameters dielectric strength, specific resistance, dielectric dissipation factor, dissolved gas analysis, furan analysis, PCB analysis. The furan and DGA tests are specifically not for determining the quality of transformer oil, but for determining any abnormalities in the internal winding of paper insulation of the transformer, which cannot be otherwise noticed without a complete analysis of the transformer. Though the risk of failure of a transformer and other oil-filled electrical equipment is, is small, when failures occur, they inevitably lead to high repair costs, long downtime, and possible safety risks. By accurately monitoring the condition of the oil, sudden faults can be discovered in time and outages can potentially be avoided. Water content or moisture test. The most important function of transformer oil is to provide electrical insulation. Any increase in moisture may result in the dielectric breakdown as content can decrease the insulating properties of the oil. Many transformers contain cellulose-based paper that is used as insulation in the winding. Excessive moisture content can result in the breakdown of this paper insulation with a resultant loss in performance. Corrosive sulfur test. Corrosive sulfur forms acidic conditions in transformers. This is a vital test as DGA, MAD moisture, acid and dielectric and furan analysis, tests may indicate normal operation even when failure is imminent. However, in this test, oil gets replaced if corrosive sulfur oil is found. Acidity or neutralization number test. The total acid number is the quantity of base mg of KOH that is required to neutralize acid constituents in 1g of a sample. If oil becomes acidic, the water content in the oil becomes more solu soluble to the oil. 
The acidity of oil deteriorates the insulation property of paper insulating the winding. Acidity triggers the oxidation process and rusting of iron in the presence of moisture. An increase in acid indicates that sludge formation is beginning to occur or is occurring. Sludge test. The deposition of sludge in the oil ducts blocks the free circulation of oil impairing cooling, increased temperature, and more sludge. Sludge deposits itself on winding, tank walls and in cooling ducts. Dielectric strength or breakdown voltage test. The maximum voltage without any electrical breakdown that can be applied across the fluid is the dielectric strength of transformer oil. These transformer oils are designed in a manner such that under high electrical fields, any significant decrease in the dielectric strength may signal that the oil no longer has the potential to perform vital functions. Specific resistance or resistivity test. It is the DC resistance of volume of oil of unit cross-sectional area and unit length. It should be as high as possible. An increase in temperature reduces resistivity. Dielectric dissipation factor or loss factor test. When an insulating material is positioned between the grounded part and live part and of electrical equipment, a cur current will flow. Electric current through the insulator will lead the voltage with an angle a little bit shorter than 90 degrees. Tangent of the angle by which it is short of 90 degrees is called dielectric dissipation factor or simply tan delta of transformer oil. Dissolved gas analysis or DGA of transformer oil. It measures the concentrations of certain gases in the oil such as carbon dioxide, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon monoxide, methane, ethylene, acetylene, and ethane. The concentrations and relative ratios of these gases can be used to diagnose certain operational problems which may be created with the transformer, which may or may not be associated with a change in the chemical or physical property of the insulating oil. Polychlorinated biphenyl or PCB analysis PCBs were used for the first time in the 1970s during the oil crises to bulk up the transformer oils. Due to the high toxicity of PCBs it is now legal to know the PCB content of your transformer oil. No PCB testing has led to a ban in many countries. Furan analysis. They are a measure of the cellulose paper's degradation. The mechanical strength of a paper decreases when the paper ages which reduces the degree of polymerization. The degree of polymerization is directly proportional to the concentration of oil's furan derivatives. Tests to be performed on in-service oils. Tests for electrical properties in DGA of the oil of a transformer of age below 10 years should be done after every 2 years and for those of age of more than 10 years, it should be done every year. These tests are also required to be carried out after every dehydration. Why oil testing for transformers is important. It is important to understand that transformers fluid not only acts as a heat transfer medium but is also part of the transformers insulation system. It helps to maintain the internal temperature of the transformer and is important for the safe operation. It is therefore very important to periodically perform tests on the oil to determine if the insulating oil is capable of fulfilling its duties as an insulant. Different kinds of transformer oil testing visual examination. One of the first tests which is generally conducted in lab is visual examination which is done by passing a beam of light through it to determine transparency and identify foreign matters. If the oil is contaminated it will be exhibited by poor transparency, observation of foreign particles or cloudiness. The international standard ASDM D1524 is referred for guidance and standard practice. Color analysis as the name suggests, the oil sample is compared with a previous sample from the same transformer and is checked for darkening of oil. The color of the oil is determined by transmitting a light and is given a numerical value between 0 to 5 which is compared with a series of color standards. If noticeable darkening of oil is observed it is safe to assume that the oil is either contaminated or internal arching has occurred in the transformer. The international method used is ASDM D1500. Dielectric breakdown voltage BDV test with this test the dielectric strength of the insulating oil is tested or on other words we measure the voltage at which the oil fails electrically which is a good indication of the amount of oil containment or, containment or moisture present inside the oil. This test is conducted by placing oil sample between two electrodes and voltage is applied gradually till the time electrodes have enough potential and starts to conduct through the oil and that's what we call as the breakdown voltage of the oil. 
Transformer oil acts as insulation in cooling and must have a certain electrical insulation strength during operation. In order to ensure the safe and reliable operation of the transformer, in addition to protecting the operating transformer oil to prevent premature aging, the oil sample test should be taken regularly to understand the state of the oil quality during operation. For newly installed transformers, the oil sample test should also be taken before the new operation. The transformer oil breakdown voltage test is one of the main items in the transformer oil test. This article only talks about some of the problems in the breakdown voltage test. Dissolved Gas Analysis DGA Test In this test the oil sample with all the fault gases dissolved is taken in a glass syringe and sent to lab for analysis which identifies various ga gas ppm levels that are present in the insulating oil. Different gases dissolved in the oil indicates different kinds of thermal and electrical stress occurring inside the transformer. The internal standard ASDM D3612 is used to carry out this test. Dissolved Metals The internal standard ASDM D7151 governs how dissolved metals in the oil is to be determined. It is measured by inductively coupled plasma atmonic emission spectrometry ICPAES and expressed in micrometers. This test helps to understand the presence of any metal which could originate either because of overheating, arcing inside the transformer or maybe because of mechanical wear. Flashpoint or firepoint this test is used to check the volatility of the oil. It is the minimum temperature at which the heated oil starts to give out sufficient vapor to form a flammable moisture with the air. The international standard used for this test is ASDM D92. Interfacial Tension helps to identify the presence of soluble contaminants and oxidation products in the insulation oil. The unit of measurement is MN by M and a decreasing value indicates an increase in contamination. In this test interfacial tension of water is tested against oil and is governed by international standard ASDM D971. Puranic Compound this test is carried out as per ASDM D5837 in which measurements are made using high-performance liquid chromatography or HPLC. This test helps us to determine the presence of cellulosic material either from the paper insulation of the windings or press board which generates furanic compounds in the oil. Moisture Content The moisture in the oil is calculated by using the weight of the moisture by the weight of the oil. For normal mineral oil the acceptable value is 35. 35 ppm. It is interesting to note that ideally we want the moisture content to be as low as possible since having more moisture in the oil decreases the insulating dielectric strength and flashovers can happen. The international standard used for this test is ASDM D1533. Neutralization number or acid number. As the name suggests, this test is used to determine the acid content in the oil. New transformer oil generally have no acid content by may develop because of oxidation and contamination. The test is carried out by measuring the amount of potassium hydroxide KOH and NG required to neutralize the acid in 1 gram of oil. This test is conducted using the international standard ASDM D974. Poor point. This test is really important especially if the transformer is located in a very cold climate. In this this test the lowest temperature is determined at which the oil will flow thus making sure that the will circulate and serve its purpose as an insulation. Relative Density With the help of this test, relative density can, can be determined which is also known as specific density by using a hydrometer at a reference temperature. If ever the test results in a high number it indicates that oil's ability to suspend water. In very cold climate, relative density can be used to understand if ice will float on the oil. The standard used for this test is ASDM D1298. Resistivity As the name suggests this test is used to determine the resistivity of the oil or helps us to understand the insulating properties. A low resistivity means the oil contains high free ions which implies that the oil consists of conductive contaminates. The unit of measurement is ohms and the standard used is ASDM D1169. This above machine the oil tan delta OTD is a laboratory instrument, which measures the tan delta, resistivity and relative permittivity of insulating liquids. These tests give a wider picture of the overall quality of the insulating oil, and will indicate if there is any contamination. 
Megger has developed features of the OTD to ensure that productivity levels within laboratories are maximized. The microprocessor-controlled inductive heater means that there is uniformity of temperature throughout the cell, in compliance with IEC 60247, and for cooling a fan effectively speeds up the cell cooling time. The instrument has a temperature measuring range of 10 to 110 degrees Celsius, with an accuracy of plus or minus 1 degrees Celsius. It can be set to preheat before testing takes place. The automated oil drain facility negates the need to move the oil vessel. Oil plays an important role in transformers' performance, acting both as an insulating material and a coolant agent. A failure in the oil may cause a severe fault in a transformer and be a reason for the total destruction of the equipment. For this reason oil must be tested to verify the compliance of its chemical, physical and electrical properties. The tests are performed in specialized laboratories and must check the following, interfacial tension IFT, acidity, viscosity, density, flash point, fire point, pour point, moisture, dielectric strength, power factor dielectric losses tan del, color, interfacial tension IFT. The interfacial tension test is used by to determine the interfacial tension between the oil sample and distilled water, with the objective to find any contamination in the oil. Acidity New transformer oils contain practically no acids if properly refined. The acidity test measures content of acids formed by oxidation. Oxidation products polymerize to form sludge which then precipitates out. Acids react with metals on surfaces inside the tank and form metallic soaps, another form of sludge. Oxidation products affect dielectric and cooling. Density Usually the maximum density of transformer oil is 0.89 G by CM3 at 29.5 degrees Celsius. Heavier oils will have higher dynamic viscosity and hence shall be more resistant to flow, resulting in less cooling efficiency. Viscosity determines the rate of cooling and varies with the temperature. A high viscosity is an obvious disadvantage because of the sluggish flow through small apertures, which is, entails. Viscosity of oil is its resistance to flow. Good oil should have less viscosity so that it offers less resistance to flow thereby not affecting the cooling of transformer adversely. Low viscosity also assists initial penetration of the oil into, into narrow ducts and promotes circulation through the windings to overcome local overheating, which would result from more lengthy residence of the oil at any hotspots. Equally important is the fact that viscosity of oil should increase as less as possible with decrease in temperatures. Flashpoint, the temperature at which the vapor above an oil surface ignites spontaneously is termed the flashpoint. A flashpoint not less than 160 degrees Celsius is usually demanded for reasons of safety. If oil is exposed to very high temperatures under fault conditions for long duration lower molecular weight hydrocarbons may be produced. These low molecular weight hydrocarbons cause a lowering in the flashpoint of oil. Firepoint Firepoint is defined as the temperature at which oil will ignite and continue burning. It is about 25% above the flash point, or about 200 degrees Celsius. Pour point. The pour point of the oil is the minimum temperature at which or just flows under standard test conditions. Pour point is an important property particularly for the places where extremely cold weathers are encountered. If oil temperature falls below its pour point, it will stop flowing and transformer cooling may therefore be affected. Moisture. The existence of moisture in the oil decreases dielectric strength and IFT, degrades cellulose, and is a failure risk. Dielectric strength of transformer oil is defined as the maximum voltage that can be applied across the fluid without electrical breakdown. Dielectric breakdown is the voltage at which the oil begins to conduct and it is reduced by moisture and contaminants. Because transformer oils are designed to provide electrical insulation under high electrical fields, any significant reduction in the dielectric strength may indicate that the oil is no longer capable of performing this vital function. Some of the things that can result in a reduction in dielectric strength include polar contaminants, such as water, oil degradation byproducts and cellulose paper breakdown. Power factor The power factor of insulating oil is the ratio of active power to apparent power. In a transformer, a high power factor is an indication of significant dielectric loss in the insulating oil, usually as a result of polar contaminants such as water, oxidized oil, and cellulose paper degradation.